Wii Sports was revolutionary for its time, but what if it was created today? It took me multiple prototypes before I could even come close to recreating the feel from the original games using today's technology. And now, I'm going to show you that process. Okay, so I opened up my Unity project and then it dawned on me. As I admired the beauty of using Steam VR and its truly amazing interaction system, I realized for a few of these games, I actually have to use buttons. And I can't rely on the Steam VR interaction system anymore. I need to use the Steam VR input system. I just absolutely hate this. I'm having so much issues with learning about this. Okay, so now it's actually time to start working on a sport. So I made a new scene, imported my Steam VR player, and gave him his iconic hands, and they're pretty much just balls. I realized that this isn't accurate to the original game because there's only two balls, not three. So I made a sphere, and I got the golf ball texture from the game, and now I just need to give it some physics. So I slapped on a rigid body, and now that the ball has physics, we gotta make some physics materials. And if you don't know what they are, they basically manage physics and how stuff like friction, bounciness, and all that. So I made three, one for the rough, one for the grass, and one for the bunker. And I just adjusted the bounciness and friction for each. Now I need to make some stuff for hitting the golf ball, because we aren't just making a game by staring at balls. If you wanted to do that, you wouldn't be watching this video. Luckily, my best friend, 3D Models Resource, has some nice golf clubs from Wii Sports Resort. Now it's time to make them work. Oh man, this is gonna be so fun. So I made three variables, one for controller move speed, which serves the same purpose as this phallic looking bar from the original game. Then for each of the three clubs, there's an upward multiplier and a forward multiplier. So we can have differently shaped clubs do differently shaped things. Oh yeah, and now I have to use the dreaded SteamVR input system to allow you to switch clubs. I had to get a PhD for this, but I think it's worth it. And after like three prototypes, the golf clubs finally work. I hate my life. Now hitting balls is really not that fun on a funny white platform. And while I could make it yellow to make it more interesting, I'm gonna help out my visually impaired colorblind friends and add shape. Okay, so let's go to 3D Models Resource and find the models for the golf courses. So now that the 3D Models Resource is no longer my emergency contact, I'm gonna have to source these models myself. Now luckily, I can dump my game to my PC, go into Dolphin, and extract the maps. Ah, oh, they're in a weird format. Now it's time to use Wexos Toolbox to convert them to B-R-R-E-S which is the file format that Nintendo used to store 3D models. And now we can open them in BRRES Viewer and convert them to OBJ. Now let's take a moment to appreciate this lovely pink skybox. Thanks, best viewer. Okay, so after importing all the courses, I textured the maps. That's right, f*** the colorblind. I cut holes in the ground where the flag's supposed to be, and I put a hole in there. And for some reason, this is stored in the files as cup. So I don't know what the workers are being treated like in Nintendo, but I'm a little worried they're drinking dirt-flavored water. Speaking of dirt flavored water, I need to finish this off by adding game logic. So I made it so after you hit the ball, it waits for the ball's velocity to be zero, and then teleports you to an optimal position. It then increases your score and power, and the score starts at minus the power. So if your power is three, then your score is minus three. Yeah, this is just basically real golf, but you know. And uh, now I made a results screen that displays your score so you can cast it to your monitor and have your parents be disappointed in you. Then I decided I actually had to make the game playable, so I added an option to the menu so you can actually play it. And bam, now golf is done, although I will come back to it later as it's very unpolished. Alright, what sport should I do next? Okay, so I can either face my trauma head on, or continue to repress it and just make baseball. Okay, time to make boxing, and the first thing I did was make a new scene. And don't worry, I came up with a completely original name of boxing. I was inspired by this cardboard box in the corner of my room. Then I dragged in my Steam VR player, and luckily, this time we won't have to do any more unnecessary drama. We don't have to use buttons this time, and we don't have to give 75 year old retirement home residents heart palpitations. After my best friend betrayed me, you 3D models resource, I had to open up my personal copy of Wii Sports again, to rob the assets from some dirt drinkers. Then I robbed the two different glove models, exported their textures, and slapped them into Unity. Then I psychologically conditioned our player to use them instead of his hands. Let's go. Then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna help out the colorblind again, and I decided I need to add some shape. That's right, I love colorblind people. So I had to open up my personal copy of Wii Sports again, I stole the arena model and smacked it into Wexos toolbox. Then I did the whole conversion shtick and exported it using viewer. Now for some reason the textures won't work. That's probably because the colorblind are revolting, but whatever, I'll fix them later. I've been thinking, something might be missing from this. Oh wait, so I decided to import my sentient little friend Matt. Gave him some gloves of his own, and he might look a little bit pissed, but I can assure you he's doing this willingly. Since right now he's only doing what he wants and not 
unwillingly following my instructions, I made some instructions for him to follow, aka artificial intelligence. So I just gave him a bunch of random timers for the punch delay. I gave him random punch speed and random punch positions. Now looking back, next up vlog, I'll probably need to redo this AI because it looks a bit, well, sh This AI is in no way accurate to the original game. I mean, he doesn't even try to move or block anything. I'll fix this in the next video, definitely. Just like half the things in this game. And I made a camera, and no, don't worry, it's not the Sony A850 DSLR A850 full frame. It's just a camera in the Unity scene. Then I made a lovely render texture for this camera. And I made screens to display the match from an angle. Kind of like the original game, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and I know some of these screens had advertisements, but I can't find them in the files right now, but I'll probably add them in the next devlog. Then I gave you and Matt health, so you can beat the fuck out of each other. And I added a little damage effect. Right now this is a bar instead of a pie chart, but I just thought this would be easier to view in VR. But I think I might change it if enough people care. I think Albert Einstein said one time, in order for the health to work, the players actually have to be able to punch. So I made your punches actually damage each other. And I made a nice knockout effect. Now in the actual game, it lets him randomly get up, but I f hated this, so I removed it. If you want me to include it, let me know. And I finished up some of the game logic and bam, it's done. Well, for now. This, along with tennis, are easily the worst things I've ever made. And I'm honestly just really bad at making AI in general, so I gotta work on this another time. I'm sorry about this, it's f***ing terrible. <laughs> okay, so now that boxing is in a somewhat playable state, I'm gonna talk about what's next for this game. So I'm gonna start off by saying that the next few videos will probably not be on this game. I have a lot of cool ideas for new videos, some of which being similar to this, but apart from the break from this series, I'm gonna shed some light on my plans. So right now, if you haven't noticed, there's only four sports. So you might notice I'm missing the fifth sport, baseball. I'm planning on including this and all the training modes along with the platinum medals in the next part of this series. And even later into the future, I'm planning to make Wii Sports Resort as well. So, yeah, there's an announcement. Anyways, make sure to join my Discord server below and like and subscribe. Check out my other games, and if you like this video, there's another one where I make tennis and bowling. This is probably one of my favorite videos I've made so far, so be sure to check it out.